Okay, welcome to Tighten Up Today. It's your boy CD back again with an update. Today, we're going to discuss week six's initial injury and practice report. But right now, no time for delays. Let's get down to it. All right, now, so let's get right into these injuries and practice report. First on deck, we got Sharif Finch, backup outside linebacker. Um, he did not practice yesterday on Wednesday, and um, we're hoping that he's going to actually practice today. The report should be coming out here shortly. Um, he is questionable right now for Sunday's game, and that can be a little bit of an issue. Reference our uh, rotational system that we do have to be able to get at the quarterback, um, but we do have other depth that can um, step in if need be, but we would like to to definitely have Finch if possible. But Gilbert is definitely a nice fill-in if need be. And now, a very underrated individual who's on our team. He's on the 53-man roster and is completely overlooked. I'm a big proponent of special teams, and I would say so is Mike Vrabel. Chris Milton, um, number 30, he stands out. You'll see him every single game whenever he is on the field. But he did not practice today. Um, he's um, questionable currently with a calf injury. He's technically our third string cornerback, but he predominantly plays as a gunner on punts and as well as on kickoff returns. Man, look at this hit. That's crazy, man. I could keep showing that over and over again. Nice, nice hit that he put on that guy on the kickoff return duty. Another guy who I look at as more of a platoon type player is offensive guard Kevin Panfile. He actually uh, did practice, but it was limited today. Last week, he was inactive um, due to injury. It's a knee thing he's got going on. I guess he, he tweaked it a couple weeks back. Nate Davis has filled in. He started last week. I don't know how that looks, If even if he does come back and play, if we start him or if we just put him back um, in line and Nate Davis gets to start. I think we should go ahead and stick with the rookie, get him the reps every game, every snap, he just gets a little bit better and hopefully start to process of getting this offensive line back going in the right direction. All right, now, so for a couple key members, we call them high-dollar players that are on our squad that um, we're missing for practice today. Number one, Cameron Wake. Um, he was inactive last week, didn't play at all with a hammy, and did not practice again um, today with a hammy. Um, so right now they're listing him as questionable for the game. Um, as an outside linebacker, again, looking at Sharif Finch, similar scenario. They have him. We've been playing him. We paid him a lot of money. He's older, 37 years old. We paid him a ton of money to come over to help out the squad. Week one against Cleveland, as you see, he was all over Baker Mayfield. He felt the pressure the entire game. He ended up with two sacks. Um, a couple weeks after that, I don't know if it was his hamstring that was acting up or something else, or if they just completely took him out of the game plan. I don't know how it went down, but they basically came out and said, oh yeah, no, we brought him over as a specialty rusher, and that's all he's there for. He's not a three down outside linebacker. He's just going to come in on passing situations. So in a situation like, for instance, Atlanta, um, he got to play a ton because Matt Ryan threw the ball 57 times. So he's definitely going to get some play. Um, but we did miss him last week against the Bills, and um, we could definitely use him this week to go ahead and get at Joe Flacco and try to drag him down a couple times. Next big dollar player, Delaney Walker. Our star stud tight end is now questionable for Sunday's game with a knee. I know it's early. This is Wednesday's report, um, and it's Thursday. Again, we're waiting on the practice report to come out. Um, but on Wednesday, he did not practice. I don't know if that's a, a little bit of a rest. He's a little bit older of a player. Just give him a, an extra day of rest, and he'll be at practice, a full participant on Thursday. That's the goal here. I have a feeling that he's fine, and this is just kind of a, a caution, um, just to make sure he's ready to go on Sunday whenever we really need him. Well, there you have it. That is the initial injury and practice report for this week, uh, week six against Denver. Hopefully these guys get on the field and um, can get healed up and actually show up on Sunday to help out the squad. That'd be amazing. Um, but if not, they definitely will be missed. But it's early in the week. We still got a couple more practices and a walkthrough on Saturday to determine um, who's actually ready to go. And of course, worst case scenario, we even have that game time decision if need be. Um, hey, before you go. If you like this episode, love this episode, want more of this episode, don't forget to show your boy CD some love. 
click that like button, subscribe, maybe even hit that bell, get yourself some notifications for the next upload. And before you leave, ask yourself that one question. Why tighten up tomorrow when you could tighten up today?